This video is a bit different from the ones that we've uh, set up so far. We're going to set you a challenge. We've called it the Liverpool Analytics Challenge. Liverpool aren't directly involved with any of this, uh, this challenge. And probably if you complete this challenge, it's not exactly going to help them because the idea is you're going to analyze Liverpool's attack using analytics. Now, the reason we can do this is we've been kindly provided with some data by Last Row. Now, Last Row is a Twitter account and they're also very active on Reddit. And what they do is they show these lovely visualizations using tracking data uh, of different goals, primarily goals and a few shots and the buildup of play. And Last Row have kindly provided us with 14 different Liverpool goals from recent times. The image you're looking at just now is number 66 there. And you can see number 27 in the middle. Um, hopefully your brains are starting to work about exactly what goal that is. Last Row have provided a Jupyter Notebook which allows you to go through and load in the data. Now to open up the Jupyter Notebook, I go into, I click on environments inside my Anaconda Navigator, and I've installed a few libraries that you need for this particular code. So I've got them inside Anaconda, but if I press play here and I go open with Jupyter Notebook, what this does is it opens up a window in my Navigator. And from there, I find my way into the last row a folder which I've downloaded of course from GitHub and here you have three things you have data sets you have notebooks and you have scripts the script is the footy viz python script which does a lot of the visualization part of it the data sets in there we have the positional data there we have the Liverpool 2019 data set with all of the goals in it and the thing I'm going to look into now are the notebooks and this is just some basic a basic notebook summarizing how you work um, well, well with the Liverpool data. This is a very nice way of just stepping through your code step by step. So first we import all the libraries, then we load the data. You see this, uh, this line here loads in the Liverpool data set. And once it's loaded in, you can see the head, that's the first things in the data frame. Here you have the X, Y coordinates. You have the match that's of interest and the different frame numbers in time. Um, you can actually also look, for example, this is a nice thing you can do with data frames. You can just look at the head or the tail of the data frame. If I execute that again, I get the last parts. This is Liverpool's 3-0 win over Leicester. And so, well, what are the games here? Well, the next line um, goes into the data frame and pulls out a list of all of the games. There's 14 of them. Bournemouth, Bayern, Southampton, Porto, um, and where was it? I was very interested in the one Barcelona because this has the, uh, well, it's got one very nice goal against Barcelona. Um, put this in particularly for Xavier's um, sake. Um, and here you see Trent Alexander-Arnold just going to put the corner down. So we, we get that. I, I didn't run the command here. I'll just run the command. We run the command and we take out data frame at t equals four. If I take the data frame of, at t equals 4.2, for example, you see he's just getting slightly nearer to taking the corner, 4.5. He's standing on the ball. He's seen that Origi's in space. And if we take five, and you can see the ball is now flying into Origi, who's still in quite a lot of space. 5.5 here, maybe. Ball's getting closer. And I'm enjoying this actually. Join the ball, arrives at Origi, and 6.5, it's in the back of the net. And so that's how you draw one frame at a time using the footy viz um, visualization. You can also, and I, I like this a lot, that you can actually do a Voronoi diagram. Um, Lastro have written some code to allow you to do that. And you can see here, right when he's about to hit the corner, there's a massive, massive area of space in the heart of the Barcelona defense. And then a very nice thing, of course, is to make a film. And what Last Row use is something, is, is a package called MoviePy. So you'll have to install MoviePy in Conda. You do that by writing Conda install MoviePy. 
and this thing will generate a film and you can give it a name here so you can write here goal and we run this code it takes a little while to run which is here and now we have a film which goes through every step leading up to the goal so one of the advantages of using this movie pie package is you can display the data in different ways this is an example where you can rotate the image um, 180 degrees. And this is actually an even nicer example just below it where you can rotate and clip the image. So I'll, um, I'll run that one. And what I want to do now is save all of those clips together. So I'll go up here and I'll copy the save command down. There we go. We do that. And it's not clip I want to save, I want to save full clip like that. And I'll call this all goals.mp4 and run this, shift and return to run. And this will now save a video of every goal in the whole sequence so we can have a quick look through them. So now we've got a video of every one of the Liverpool goals, one after the other. And now I can start to say a little bit about what the Liverpool challenge is. So the challenge is for you to analyze every one of these goals using some of the analytics that we've learned in the course. Now Liverpool have a very sort of distinctive style of scoring goals. A lot of them are from very fast forward running occasions. This is a nice, nice example actually here build up in their own half or in the middle of the field, then a very rapid attacking style. Um, and that's you know, not, not in this example there, I think it must be from a free kick, but um, that's a, a very common style in, in most of their goals. So your aim is to sort of characterize both this and other aspects of, of, how, they, of how they score. One, one tip I do have is I would suggest that you if you go and do this seriously, I would suggest you watch the video of the goals as well. I can't show the video here because we'll get copyright banned, but I would suggest that you watch the video of this goal and other goals. There's no point doing data analysis, especially a data analysis task like this, in isolation of watching the video. So watch the video, do your own analysis first, then start to think about how you can use data to support your own analysis or to find other things about how they, how they score. I think that's always, in an approach like this, it's always important that you combine both your footballing knowledge with your data science knowledge, especially when we've only got 14 goals to go on. So here's the challenge. Um, it's to prepare an analytics-driven opposition analysis of how Liverpool score goals. I'd like you to use one or more of the tools that you've learned so far. Uh, we've already seen from Liverpool in particular, we've seen pitch control. You can also think about measurements of speed and acceleration, very important in those sort of fast running attacks that the Liverpool do. Passing networks is something you can do, pass maps. You can also think about value. I haven't mentioned expected goals or if you're interested in pass value and so on. Use those types of things to analyze the data. Feel free to combine this with other data available from other sources on Liverpool. There's lots of stuff on their expected goals and so on think a little bit about that. Then what you should do is produce an output in the form either of a short report, a video, that can be communicated either to a coach, a video analyst, or to players. So this part of the output should be something which can be directly used by a football team. And I think you should sort of imagine yourself that you're a data scientist who's asked to prepare a report on Liverpool, who the, who the team you're working for is going to meet the next weekend. Um, then you should also write some sort of separate technical details of what you do in a separate appendix. And once you've done all of that, post a link in either in the comments below or onto Twitter using the hashtag FOT, Friends of Tracking, if you would like to enter a competition. And we thought what we'd do is if you, well, if, if we think your analysis is the best analysis, we'll invite you on Friends of Tracking if you'd like to come and give a little talk about what you've been doing. And so we've set a deadline for this for the 11th of May that you have to post your entries. And one of the reasons we've done that is you might also consider submitting your entry to the 
Seattle Sounders Soccer Analytics Conference. And that starts in, um, I think it's the 6th of May it starts, but they've got a deadline for their data analytics co uh, competition on the 10th of May. So it would be very nice if you want to use the Liverpool data set as an example to send in for that. They're op open to all sorts of different uh, data set usage. You can use the stats form, you can use the Y Scout data and, and send in something to them. But uh, this Liverpool data set is one of the possibilities and the deadline for their submissions is the day before, it's the 10th of May. Well, good luck and look forward to seeing your submissions.